Hey everyone, back with another video. This time around it comes to the CMG Superdome Speed Bonanza, and in this arena, everything's random. Your towers, your powers, I don't know what to expect other than some good games. Let's get right into it. So our first one here is a non... Um, we're gonna be going on industrial zone, it appears. Dot, heli chipper, he skips it, all right. We got hot tub instead. Tag village ace, no thanks. Obviously everything's random here, so no idea what we're gonna get, right? But um, we get NG ace whiz with best bundles, range boost, copy eco. Well, this is gonna be a boring game because he skipped the first loadout, which was actually interesting, so that's a shame. And he surrenders right off the bat because he doesn't like the loadout. See, this is your problem. If you had readied on the first one, you wouldn't have to DC here. Anyways, let's move on to the next one. Now we got, what am I doing? So hopefully this time around we get something actually interesting that the opponent doesn't just DC because he doesn't like it. Uh, attack Mortar Ace, please skip this. He does, thank God. A Sprinkler, no thanks. What? What is that loadout? I'm confused on so many levels. Ninja Boomer Ace, oh god. <laughs> okay, so we have Eco enough, Bloom Snipe, and, um, and Cash Injection, yeah, that's the name. Uh, so this is going to be a boring full eco loadout, nothing else to add here. We do want to save all of our powers for the late game, absolutely all of them. They're all going to have some form of a use. Uh, so we're definitely going to be keeping each and every single one of them. He uses his Cash Injection early, I disagree with that. Because uh, it can have some use in the late game, in the very late rounds, it's going to net you some money that you can use. And we're probably going to burn one into fully kind of pinks as well if we need it. But considering we have Boomer to start with, I don't think it's going to be needed because Boomer is very cheap uh, on the mid game rounds. So that's something to keep in mind for sure. He decides to just burn his cash injections early when he has like a whole lot of money in hand, uh, supposedly, from just like how cheap Boomer as a mid game tower is, right? Like. It's very cheap to get up like 2K is sell price. That's like, I don't know how much, maybe like 2.5K in uh, in actual costs. And um, and like, it just solos greens, like infinitely, which is, in my opinion, fairly good. But yeah, here we're just gonna go for the Glaive Ricochet. This is gonna become a Glaive Lord eventually when we need it. But for now, this does infinitely kill yellows. So that's pretty good. He cash injects early again. I don't understand the point. But yeah, Econef has its use because it's going to reduce the sell prices of ground zeros, which are going to be one of our main lines of late game defense along with the Bloom Jitsu upgrade. And uh, of course, the Sabotage Supply Line stall, which is very useful as well. Uh, and then Bloom Snipe has its uses because obviously it can one shot five UMGs, which is a whole lot of help in the late game defense. And Cash Injection can actually be used to rush while you got no eco from sending a ton of ZMGs. So that's how it's useful. Uh, and yeah, pretty much like this game is going to go probably around like, oof, very, very late game. And this is probably going to go like round 30, 30, I don't even know how much, round 30, like 8, maybe around 37. This is going to go like very, very late game. So I guess you guys are getting an epic late game for starters. It's pretty cool, huh? But yeah, here I'm just gonna go for the Sclave Lord, and I'm even gonna go for a second one. Actually, no, you know what? I'm gonna go for this Bloom Jitsu instead if I could drag it up. There we go. I'm gonna go for the Camo Detection here, and I'm gonna go for, uh, sorry, the Lead Detection, and I'm gonna go for a Glaive Lord on the opposite side to deal, to deal with AI, and then I'm just gonna be doing this if I could hold Eco, please. Why can I not hold Eco? My goodness, what's happening? Why, why is my game lagging? What, what's going on? I cannot hold eco for the love of me. What is happening? Please, thank you. Okay, and we're gonna do this. And now that permanently holds eco for me. My god, that took a while to hold eco. Why did it just not work? You know what? I'm gonna restart my iPad after this. It's probably gonna like fix the problem, but... Yeah, it's still weird. Uh, anyways, uh, basically what our main lo loadouts, like in terms of defense, a lead game is gonna be. We're just gonna want to fill the map with Bloom Jitsu's. Get two Spectres. He's got one so far, but you should get two in the back, not in the back. Like, 
on the back of the AI path, but on the back of the send path, which is also the start of these cameos as you're seeing on screen here. So we're gonna wanna get specters near that. And uh, we're gonna wanna get up Lunjutsus all over the map, ex except for that part. And you see the bottom right of, of my screen here, it's where it's most convenient for me to micro ground zero. So we're gonna leave that empty to micro ground zeros because we're gonna wanna do that um, in the late game because it's huge damage. Just like keep buying and selling those abilities. Uh, cons consistently over and over, it does a huge amount of damage. That's what Ace is mostly good for in the late game. And that's what like, um, that's why like it's so strong. So uh, yeah, it's gonna be that, Bloon Jitsu, Grand Zero Micro, Spectres. And uh, of course we do have as well with the Ninja, it's right side upgrades, which are the sabotage supply lines mostly. What that does is slow down the by 50% for 15 seconds. So we need to get up four of those because they have a minute of, a minute of cooldown and 15 times four is 60. So, I mean, yeah, four Sabos can hold up a full minute, which means they get them on cooldown every single time. So we don't need more than that. But just in case, I'm probably gonna build like five or six in case I mistime one of them. Uh, because yeah, you can overlap them with one another and it makes for more efficient defense. So I'm probably gonna go for five or six and that's gonna slow down all the blooms on screen by 50%. Uh, as well as, of course, having the huge CMG damage of, of the Bloon Jitsu, the cleanup from the Spectres in the back, in case too many ceramics go through, and the Ground Zero Micro for huge damage. So that's why his strategy is like very strong in the late game. I don't know why he's sending that BFB for. I'm just gonna do this, and do this, and there we go, goodbye. Uh, now he's Micro and Ground Zeroes, which wastes money, but I mean, I didn't wanna waste money myself, so that explains that. Uh, I'm just gonna go back to fully cutting because uh, you do want to do that um, to get as much money as you can in the late game. But actually, you know what? I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna send a lot of blacks and what that's gonna do is allow me to build defense while I'm upgrading these, right? So you can see I'm upgrading these slowly. There we go. And I can even place stuff down while I'm eco of blacks, which is less efficient than pinks, don't get me wrong, but it's barely less efficient. So it's gonna put me a bit down in eco, not that much at all. And I'm gonna have all of that time saved uh, of building up zero zero ninjas all over the map, uh, which he's not gonna have. So yeah, it's definitely gonna help me out a whole lot to be able to do this. Um, I'm just gonna like, keep going with this process up until we fill the whole map with Blue Jitsus. Uh, we don't exactly need to be precise here about spots. We won't have the full money to fill up the entire map anyways. He stopped decoying, which does net him a whole less, a whole lot less money than me since I'm constantly decoying while getting up these zero ninjas, which is something you can do. It's not a glitch, it's, it's possible on every device. Uh, granted, it's easier on iPad than every other device, but it's possible on any. So if you were to put in a bit more effort like I am, you would be able to make a whole lot of money while placing these zero, zero, zero ninjas down. But yeah, this is not an easy task to do. Even on the iPad where it's easier, it takes a whole lot of effort to do this. But it gets the job done and it allows me to get up a whole lot of like late game defense. Uh, in game modes like these, right? So that's why it's important to do. I'm just gonna like keep going with this because we really can't get enough money with Ninja Boomer Ace. Um, so for what I'm doing, I'm gonna have the Sabos here because those spots will allow me to clean up any extra balloons that get by, like some ceramics or whatever. Always gotta account for those types of situations. And uh, here, if he sends me CMGs, up until like round 32 is not scary. So I don't mind not having defense placed down until then. And now I'm gonna start the big upgrading process, which is gonna take a while granted, but yeah, of course you do wanna make sure to um, use up your sabos um, every 15 seconds, uh, just in case he sends you anything. You already have the balloon slow down and ready to defend. Uh, so it buys you the most time. So that's what we're doing here. Um, here I'm just like going to 
probably fill the whole map with Bunjutsus. I think I should have the money too. And yeah, I'm not ecoing while upgrading all of these because that takes way too much effort to do. And I'm not down for that. Um, although I could, it just like takes way too much effort and no thanks. It's also naturally slower because you have to manage two things at the same time. So it reduces the efficiency of one thing and not the other. Um, or like the speed rather. Anyways, I'm just gonna like keep filling the map while he's going here because filling the map doesn't take as much effort. It's just dragging one thing down from your screen or rather up in this case. But yeah, uh, I didn't have the Sabo up. That was my mistake. Technically it didn't matter because he didn't send me anything, but yeah. I'm just gonna want to fill the whole map if possible with zero zero ninjas that I'm all gonna upgrade into blue ninjutsus and it's gonna be great. Of course Boomer completely useless tower late game. It has very cheap upgrades, very cheap mid game and that's its only strength really. Uh, nothing else to look at in the Boomer's kit because the turbo char is not great for the late game by any means. Uh, but yeah I'm just gonna want to like get up ninjas while making sure that I have plenty of space to ground zero stuff. So this should be good enough. Okay, just gonna start upgrading all of these and that's pretty much the main idea. So it's all gonna be done here. Uh, we still have a bunch of thousands of dollars left over. So cash injection won't really have that much of an impact. I didn't expect that much when going into this, but you know what, works out. I'm probably gonna rush on like round 39, I think is a safe bet, unless he rushes me before. I just wanna make sure that in case he doesn't counter back, I don't get drained out of it. Cause of course there's situations where you'll wanna send earlier because I'll counter you earlier as well and it all works out. But I think I'm just gonna be sending on 39 here, pretty safe play to do doesn't have all of his defense set up earlier uh, as well so it doesn't like like it does help me out i'm just gonna send here now that it's round 39 i think that's a pretty safe bet and i'm gonna want to eco nerf now because now it's gonna reduce his sell price uh, i'm gonna want to balloon snipe this as soon as i see his umg i'm balloon sniping of course and now i'm just gonna try to micromanage sending and uh and microing and yeah, I'm gonna want to balloon snipe as soon as I get it, as soon as I get the cooldown. And I'm just gonna want to keep microing the GZs, and he dies. Nice. We were almost defending that, by the way. That's actually crazy. <laughs> so yeah, GGs. To what am I doing? Let's move on to the next game. I subbed 2.0. All right. Frozen River. Darling Farm sub, not that interesting. It's just Ray of Doom spam in the late game. Uh, if he wants to skip this, I would be down. Oh, maybe some like Sniper Micro, Heli Micro action. That would be great to see. Uh, Cause I'm sure you guys love to see me micro. Um, but yeah, here he doesn't look like he's gonna be skipping. Never mind, he is. And we get A game instead, Darling Mortar, and you know, thanks. Uh, Roadblock, Ninja NG Super, and, and uninteresting at best. Uh, quick shot, long, slow, even better bundles. Definitely a loadout of all time. All right. Spam is high, spam is hard eyes. Sure, I guess, I already know what the message is there. Maybe he knows who I am, that's the whole thing. I don't exactly know, but yeah. Here I'm just gonna like go for the fast engineering and yeah, of course I do have my energy here to at least make the game go by a little faster by energy stalling. His spawn on the other hand does the opposite of that, which is interesting enough, I suppose, but yeah, here I'm just getting up the sprockets, like targeting this and lost right in the middle, right as, like the start of the map, cause that does help with the rounds flying by, which you definitely want because the slowdown is going to take forever to complete uh, if he plays well in the late game because that's Super Monkey and Offreeze Bonanza, which, you know, it's going to take a very, very long time to actually like finish everything up. 
uh, in this game because we have Ninja Star, we have Overclock, and we have Temple. Just those three. <laughs> it, it's it makes for the most boring loadout in the entirety of BTD. It's just gonna be us ecoing at each other and then going like 20 rounds. No, no, why am I saying 20? Going 45 rounds into the late game. It's gonna be amazing. Some for some of you guys who enjoy that kind of content. But me personally, and I think a lot of my viewers as well, find that fairly boring. So, I mean, I can't disagree with them. I think they make a very good point. <laughs> uh, here I'm just going to be selling this engine there. We don't really want it anymore. We kind of want to collect our traps instead for extra money. Because uh, you definitely want the extra money that you can get uh, with the slowdown. Because we do have the super monkey. And the super monkey never gets enough money to do everything in the late game. Unless you're running farms with it in Bonanza. That's the only scenario where you get enough money. But here is not the case. We do have the super monkey in Bonanza, we're just missing the farm part. But yeah, anything with farm super in it, I'm pretty sure it doesn't exist uh, in our East Bonanza, so... Uh, like, I've never gotten such a loadout before and I don't think anyone else has. I'm pretty sure there's some rules behind it, like you can't actually get farm and super in our East Bonanza, but yeah. Here, uh, I'm just gonna be trying to extra slow, or long slow rather, my bad. I'm going to be trying to quick shot some more blooms in, and hopefully he dies from it. We hope. It wasn't even close. Actually, it kind of was. Oh, he dies. Okay, cool. Yeah, we take a win early when the slowdown was supposed to go around 50. We take those. <laughs> All right, here's the average player thinking off the speed bonanza is going to go ultra late game with zero skill involved. And now he's mad. Dot Cobra Ace, please give that to me. I love this. And he skips, of course. Super Monkey Lane. Dot Village Clue. Well, at least this is not going around 20, around 2,500, but I'm still gonna skip. Um, so you get Shipyard instead with Dot Link Subspack. Okay, that's actually interesting. It's actually interesting because figuring out what to do, it's like not straightforward. So that's pretty interesting in itself, in my opinion. I think one thing we can do to like defend stuff in the mid game rounds is probably gonna be, um, it's probably gonna be, uh, what's it called? Oh yeah, we do have copy eco, which I forgot to use. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna use it a bit since, uh, yeah, of course, if he gets 600 eco, I'm gonna be able to copy that instantly. And he stops ecoing. Actually, no, he doesn't. Sure. I was, I was gonna say, actually, this would be interesting if he just like completely stops. But yeah, here I'm going to be copying, of course, and I'm going to be going for the reactor straight up because it's going to help me anti-stall the rounds out, try to make things go by a little faster, and obviously it's going to defend at least yellows infinitely, which uh, does help, uh, since Dotling would struggle against it a bit more. So we'll definitely take those. Um, probably the thing that I can do to help out the defense here is get up a Dotling like in the top right or close to it because it's gonna delayer every blue and make it easier for the reactor to pop one other thing i can do is straight up jam pack here if i want to i don't know if i will but it's an option oh my god this spot doesn't solo yellows it does solo greens so i'm gonna try to delayer everything into greens if possible uh please defend please defend please now this will defend for sure, since it's going to delay everything and allow me to pop everything down, so that's pretty helpful. Here I'm probably just going to go for an extra one, then I'm going to go for this, there we go. Because yeah, we do want this to be popped down into greens, which is rather difficult, but you know what, we'll make it work. Okay, now this pops straight up into blues, which the reactor does clean up nicely, so we love to see that. Uh, I think at this point, if we don't stop Econ, he's just gonna like die to, to round 11. Okay, now he stopped, but I don't know if that's gonna help him out too, too much. Considering how he's defending, probably just the jam packed all out kills him. Yeah, this definitely kills. I can just keep going and he dies. All right, cool. We do take the win here. Nice. GG's to player. Uh, let's move on to the next one, I suppose. Okay, here's player. I'm pretty sure this is the same guy, right? Yeah, I think it's the same guy that we got earlier. So, dot village sniper, please. Please, ready. I want to see some sniper village micro action. No. 
Oh, come on, bro. Brewer Farm Village, okay. Sure, that's interesting enough. Yep, we take those, we take those. <laughs> Gotta love some Boomer Farm Village action. So there are two paths we can take here. We can take the Energy Beacon Spammer out or the Turbocharged Spammer out. I think probably the smartest thing you can do is try to mix up both. Because, I mean, yeah, you're probably, I'm probably going to mix up both. Uh, I think that's, okay, I think that's my main option here. Yeah. Sure, let's go for it. Why not? He spams red in the, be reds in the beginning. That's bad because it prevents you from farm glitching. Uh, it looks like he stopped equaling early, but then he goes for the 2-2 two, two boomer. All right, this dude has no idea how to start his speed bonanza with farms. <laughs> that's fair enough. I guess not a lot of people know about this glitch. But yeah, we're just gonna like straight up eco boost round two. Uh, gonna do this, gonna do this. Uh, and I'm gonna go for the bi bionic like him, which is gonna help me defend those pinks. So yeah, definitely love to see it. Uh, I would have probably clutched that if I placed it in time. He tower blindnesses. That's not gonna help you out, brother. It's, it's really not. Let me just... Yeah, you definitely want to save those for the late game. That's unfortunate from him. Uh, but yeah, what we're going to do is probably some villages targeted on strong to pop the CMG layers and stuff. And the rest of the map is going to be turbochargers. I assume here we'll fill with villages. And the rest is going to be turbochargers to have the most optimal late game defense possible. Now we're going to want to go for the village and go for the Republic into the factory. Uh, I'm actually going to want to fit this as perfectly as I can for the late game rounds. It doesn't really matter too, too much that we don't have the most money in the world out of selling that. So don't worry about it too, too much. I'm just going to go for this. going to go for this. And there we go. Now we defend infinitely, so no need to worry about anything there. I'm just going to eco boost again. He's going to be doing the same. We have a bit extra eco. Not like it makes too much difference money-wise, but we take the little difference there is. And yeah, I'm going to go for this second factory as soon as I can. I'm gonna fill the map with factories, which isn't a lot on Pitball Wizard. It's just these two extra spots here and here, as well as two here and here. So that's all there is to it. But I mean, we definitely take the little extra farms you can get. Uh, villages are thankfully smarter than farms, so thinning villages on top of farms is not a problem because it does give us a reduced price, which gives us a bit more money. So we take that. Um, just gonna try to fit this as perfectly as possible again. I'm gonna want this on the other hand to make it into a glaive lord. Gonna be going for another village, another fest, another facility. Uh, gonna be going for another village here. There we go. Actually, it was on the other hand, supposed to be on the other hand, but yeah. Uh, I'm just gonna do this, and there we go. Wasted tower blindness again. Unfortunate from him, but yeah, here I'm just gonna start filling this with villages if possible. Um, I'm just gonna like begin filling the map with villages. Uh, at least this side, I'm gonna want to target the multi strong. He's doing the same, it appears. He's copying, he's copying. But yeah, can I fit a last village here? I can, great. Uh, oops, didn't mean to do that. Okay, I'm just gonna be upgrading all of these and targeting the multi strong. Gonna help a lot with the late game defense, I think. And I'm just gonna want to target all of these to first. Uh, actually, I can probably do a little something like not this. I can probably do a little something like this actually to get my villages attack speed boosted if I could fit that last village that I am now not able to fit anymore. Can can this village go back? What is happening to my screen? Okay, we move. Um, hello, please, can I fit this extra village? Come on. It's not that hard, surely, right? Yeah, it's not. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna be doing this, this. I'm gonna be doing this, of course, as well. We want those Clave Lords in the back, because they're gonna help clean out all the ceramic layers and stuff, which uh, is significant. Probably gonna want an extra village here, as well as an extra village here. I think this should be good. 
uh, gonna want to fit as many turbos as I can on the entire map. I'm gonna send BFBs now. It's gonna help um, making them struggle a little. We definitely want to apply as much pressure as we can, and that does help with that task. Um, I'm just gonna like keep targeting off my boomers to the other hand because it is a little more efficient popping power wise. Uh, on his side, it's a little easier. Okay, we forced the bing balloon slow out. That's really good, actually. We definitely take those. And here, the hand doesn't even matter all that much, but it still kind of does. So I'm still going to be targeting stuff properly. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to like keep going with this while, of course, sending BFBs since I can. And now I'm going to send UMGs and I'm going to start tower blind this thing. Anyways, here I'm just gonna like use a few turbos up. Oh, he dies, okay. Well, I didn't even have to go that far into the late game, just the BFPs killed him, which is rather boring, but you know what? <laughs> I guess we didn't get to see this UMG exchange part. It's okay, let's move on to the next one. So here's player with a bunch of numbers. If you're seeing this game, I really wanted to record something for you guys with a bunch of like sniper or heli micro in it. So if you're seeing this, that means that we do have a heli loadout. Let's go. I actually only needed one attempt. I was expecting to do multiple, but you do actually get a heli loadout on the first try. Love to see it. You guys are going to see some heli micro action. Nice. Okay. So um, we're going to want acid here. I'm pretty sure like acids won't matter beyond the early game here. So we can feel free to spend them. And... I'm just gonna be placing them all down here, I suppose. It's probably the smartest spot for them. Uh, I'm just gonna like send some. Okay, my bad. You guys, you guys weren't meant to see that. Uh, anyways, <laughs> I'm just gonna send a bunch of like pinks here. Try to force stuff out. Uh, on his side, we forced the lightning. That's really good. Just gonna go for the heli myself because we do want to sell those two plantations into a heli micro. Meanwhile, he went up for, he went for the wizard, so that's really good for me. I don't think he even knows he can heli micro, considering what he's doing here. He's just going for farms. So, I mean, I'm just going to go for my heli now, and I'm just going to start microing. So, yeah, not much to commentate here. I'm just going to try to buy and sell heli abilities as fast as, as I possibly can. Uh, not much else to commentate. We do defend blacks. We don't defend greens gonna go for the lightning wizard and that's gonna be all right finally goes for some stuff himself um okay he actually doesn't have bad micro at all that's actually rather interesting uh just gonna go for some yellows while i micro a bit more helis he's going for razor rotors he's going for an apache straight up oh he sold it i guess i'm gonna go back to sending I'm gonna go for another facility he goes for another apache again and we do have two facilities on round seven. He now gets two lightning wizards, which does defend. So I'm gonna stop worrying too, too much. I'm just gonna go for more heli micros since I can. I'm gonna go for two lightnings here, which are gonna help with defense. There we go. Just gonna go for more farms, more farms, more helis. And we're almost done with the heli micro part of this game. There we go. Now that our heli micro is done, I'm just gonna go for more wizards where helis cannot fit. And I'm also gonna go for an Apache up in the top left because a heli does fit there. Okay. And now I'm gonna go for a bunch of region rainbows. And I don't know if that's going to kill it, just might. Oh, uh, does it kill him? I hope it doesn't. I want this to make it into the late game. Okay, it doesn't. All right. I'm just going to go for a bunch of wizard where, wizards where helis don't fit. That's the main idea. I don't think helis fit on the right side of the screen here. Yeah, they, didn't, they indeed don't. So it's going to be dedicated wizard spots as well. I'm just gonna want to fit them all as much as I can. We do have turbo mobs and slows, which are all gonna be helpful. Uh, they're all gonna be helpful to like uh, help us um, defend stuff in the late game. Uh, sorry, not defend stuff in the late game, rather 
uh, aggressive in the late game. We do love some aggressive gameplay. Can I fill a heli here? I cannot. This is more wizard spots, I guess. I'm probably going to use these as like um, the Tempest Tornado spots to clean stuff up in the back. So, I mean, it's rather helpful to have these to like clean up any balloons that go through. Here, I'm just going to go for more summon phoenixes. You want to keep going for more summon phoenixes because, I mean, obviously you want to defend stuff in the late game, right? And they're the strongest thing that you can have. Uh, of course, even if you don't have the ability, that's a fun fact about the wizard. Summon phoenix does increase the base attack speed of the wizard. Just the uh, summon phoenix upgrade increases it. So, and that's something uh, actually fun to keep in mind. Uh, that even if you like you never had the abilities summon phoenix would actually help your defense out a tiny bit uh we're gonna probably like we're gonna probably i suppose send stuff to to him on round 20 uh, probably some bfps because i mean that's probably the one thing that's gonna like help push so it's probably what we're gonna do uh we do have the money to send so why not like push uh on on his side uh since we have the money to uh while of course we keep going for more summon phoenixes he turbo mobs already it's not a good idea i'm just gonna go for a few phoenixes and that's gonna be it uh, i wonder if he's gonna slow or anything like that it would be pretty funny if he did uh but yeah i'm just trying to get things to push on his side on my side things are not pushing at all and then it's gonna transition over into turbo mobs umgs oh never mind he actually straight up dies we again don't need to go to umgs to win so i guess that's about it huh you guys saw some heli micro at least right so yeah that's it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did you have a few ways to support me uh if you did enjoy it and make it that far so i mean you can of course subscribe to the channel leave a like because those are just two things to, like take a single press up button not much effort on your end and a bunch of support for me, a bunch of help on my end. So, I mean, you know what to do. Keep that in mind if you want uh, to support me and my channel. If you made it this one to the video, I would greatly appreciate it. You can also leave a, bit, a comment down in the comment section below. It also helps if you want to put in like a bit more effort. And also I have a Discord server if you want to talk to me, join my clan, anything like that. Uh, that's all going to be in the description down below. The link to the Discord server will be there. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will be seeing you guys in the next one. And have a good one, buddy. Bye-bye.